All right, what's up guys, it's Yesgard here, and today I figured I would show you guys how to make a logo from scratch. I don't have very much time right now, so I guess we'll hurry up and do this. Uh, what I'm going to do is create a square by holding shift and dragging. It doesn't really matter the size, as it'll be scalable to the same size anyways. After that, I'm going to click this little none, or it's like a slash. This, this toolbar might be up here. If it's not here for you, you can go to window, and then go to... Tools default, I'm fairly certain. If that doesn't work, you can just go to workplace and then change it to like a different one, then change it back to essentials. And then once you have this, you can, and you have this none here, you can just click the switch. Yeah. Now once you have that, we're gonna drag this over here, drag this over here, drag this over here, drag this over here. All right, what do we have now? Five? All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag these three up one. Okay, it looks like a crown, kind of. Now what we can do is just... Um, uh, we don't want these two, actually. Actually, let's just grab these two. I'm not gonna have any cuts in this video, as... I don't have, like, a lot of time to edit all the time, and I know you guys want videos, or some people do, so... So what we did here, I'm gonna do it on this side again, so you can copy it on that side if you didn't catch it. What I did was transform after right clicking on those two things. I clicked shear. And then on this one, I'm going to do negative 20 for the angle. And the other one, I did positive 20. So once you have that, it should look like a crown of sorts. Kind of. I think we're going to treat it as a crown as well. So what we're going to do is. Ooh, it's going to be kind of hard to see. Um, okay, okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to drag it from here. Up here. I can't really get it to a good spot yet, so we're just going to drag that right now. Now once we have that, we can drag this edge to the bottom right here. It'll catch on. Alright. Uh, it kind of could look like a rook, I suppose. So, let's actually shorten these by holding Alt and Shift and then dragging. You want to shorten it to the size of this square right here. Then once we have that, Let's drag this one actually back out, my apologies. Uh, first, before we do that, let's just add that square there by holding Alt and dragging. You can hold Alt and drag once again. Let's bring it right to here. Let's hold Alt and drag and drag it out to here. All right, now let's copy this one and put it over here. All right, I'm kind of digging that. All right, cool. So what we can do once we have this is we can add some text of some sort. Um, this kind of reminds me of like a, a rook, I mean, or, and the letter E, or maybe like a crown and the letter E, some sort of it. So that's how I made a simple logo just now. Um, yeah. Alright, well thank you guys for watching on how to make this logo right here. I appreciate if you wouldn't sell this, um, I don't really give anyone rights to sell this as I, I've created the idea, I suppose. Um, what I would suggest, if you're still doing this though, you could just drag this out to here. And drag this one out. Let's see how that looks. Uh... -huh. I don't know if I like it with or without. I'm going to leave it without for now. Alright, well thank you guys for watching on how to make this logo. Uh, if you guys want me to show you guys how to add colors, you can just easily click this and then click this. There's a blue. If you want a different color, you can double click this thing right here, this fill. And you can select whichever color you'd like. I'm currently in the RGB. You might be in CMYK. Uh, so we're painting my dogs right now. I believe you can change that by going to... I don't know. 
Alright, well thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, make sure to leave a like if you'd like. <laughs> I said like a lot of times. Alright, my dogs are barking now, so. If you just like the video, make sure to leave me constructive criticism if you'd like. Um, hope you guys have a great day, night, or whatever it may be. Uh, it's been Yask. Peace out, bro.